So one of the biggest challenges faced by a lot of people, including myself, is monitoring your kids' screen time. However, Google has a free solution that allows you to monitor and control your kids' screen time on Android-based devices. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up and use Google Family Link. Stay tuned. So first of all, on the parent device, go to the Google Play Store and search for Google Family Link. So remember, this would be the actual device that you as the parent or supervisor would be using. Once you find the app, go ahead and install it. Once the app's finished installing, go ahead and open it. This menu gives you an idea of some of the app's functions, such as setting screen time, allowing certain apps, as well as locating your child device. Select Get Started. At this screen, you'll now be prompted to select your email address. Go ahead and do so. So next, it actually brings you to the dashboard of the app. So I already use this app and I have one of my son by the name of Jaden account added. As you can see, there's his name. However, more than likely you won't have anything. So you want to click the plus icon on the top right hand corner of the screen. Next, it'll ask you if your child already has an email account. If they don't, you could select no and they would allow you to create one. However, my child already has an email address, so I'm going to select yes. Next, they are giving you some instructions that you need to perform on your child's device. So I'm now going to head over to my son's Nathan device to complete these steps. So I'm on my son's phone and I'm going to select the settings option. And I'm going to look for Google and select that. And next, I'm going to look for parental controls. Select that. And it's just basically giving me an idea, well, you know, to set up the parental controls. I'm going to click get started. And they're asking me if it's a parent or a child or teenager. So I'm going to select child or teenager. Next, they're going to give you some other instructions about linking the account. So you select next at this page. And give it a few seconds. Next, they're asking me to select my child's Google account. Nathan actually has several email addresses on this phone. However, your device may just have one email address. You want to select that address. Select continue at this screen. Next, you need to enter the supervisor email address. So I'm going to enter my email address here. And they prompted me for my email's password. So I'm going to enter that here. My phone has two-factor authentication set up, so I need to allow this to be able to sign into this device. So I'm going to head over to my device and select allow. It now gives us a brief description of some of the things the supervisor can and cannot do. So basically it tells you that parents, we can manage their account settings and controls. We can block on um, approve apps. We can control location settings. We can limit screen time. I know this is a big one for a lot of parents, especially myself. We could also set um, search filters, such as when they're using Google and stuff like that. And we could manage their Google family group. Also, it gives us an idea of some of the things we can't do as parents, such as we can't remotely see what's on the child's screen. We can't see the child's past search history. Um, and a Google password, etc. Right, so what I want to do now, I want to scroll down and I'm going to click on agree. 
next is going to ask me to confirm that I want to allow supervision so I'm going to select allow and give it a few seconds for the linking process to be completed and there it tells us that our accounts are linked so at this screen it shows us a list of the apps that's currently installed on my son's device right so here we have the option to block these apps right by simply toggling the little blue button at the side of them we could also do this after the fact but it gives you the option to do it up front as well right so for this example i'm just going to block youtube and to do that you simply toggle that till it turns grid it's grid off and you select next so this screen it shows you some of the administrative controls that you have However, I'm going to show you how to do it on the parent's device. You can do it on the child's device or the parent's device. So um, for this demo, I'm going to show you how you can do this on the parent's device. So once you select next, it basically tells you to manage um, parental controls remotely. You need to have the Google Family Link installed on the parent's device. So we already did that. So I'm going to select yes. And it just confirms that the app would be installed and you'd remotely be able to supervise your child's phone. You're going to select next again. And we're good to go. So it says we're all set. We should be able to manage and control our child's device remotely. Alright, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to head back over to... Well, before I head over to my device, let me search for Google, um, YouTube on Nathan's device since we blocked it. Right, so as we can see, we can't find YouTube anywhere on his device. Let me try downloading it from the Play Store. So if I go to the Play Store and I search for YouTube, providing I can remember how to search for an app, um, I should not be able to download YouTube if all went well. So yeah, we can see YouTube is there. However, the install button is grayed out. This means that we're not able to install YouTube because we originally blocked it. All right, so now I'm going to head over to my device, right? And show you some additional parental controls that we have. I'm back over on my device. I'm going to select done. And here you can see Nathan's profile has been added. So I'm going to go over quickly some of the restrictions and the controls that we can implement on your child's device. So if I go to manage settings, and I go to Google Play Store. Here I could require approvals if he needs to purchase or download any apps. So if you select required approval, you'd see there's a lot of different options there, right? That you can choose. I'm gonna leave it as it is for now, as well as games and stuff as well. So for YouTube restrictions, you could select if you want it restricted mode where you could block certain mature content and stuff like that as well. Similarly, for Google Chrome, you could block certain um, content that might be mature for your kids and you don't want them to access. Alright, um, a big one for me and a lot of people I know is location. So you could choose to turn on your child's location so you could see your child's location, um, your devi uh, the device location, in fact, from your um, phone, right? So I'm going to turn that on, show you how that works. Right, so my mom kind of rushing through this, but you could feel free to go through all the different options as needed. Right, so I'm gonna go back. Right, so that was the manage settings option, and there's the amount of screen time here as well. He has zero because we now set it up. And here you could actually see his location is on, and they're showing me where his device is located on Google Maps. You know, so I know this is a pretty handy feature for a lot of parents, including myself, right? If we scroll down now and we go to screen time, we can actually set up, um, you know, the screen time, the allowed screen time. So we have the schedule where we could turn on and off. By default, it's set to three hours. However, you could adjust that accordingly to whatever you want. And there's also a bedtime option as well. Right, if you want your kids to go to school, um, bed at a certain time, you know, you could set the bedtime option here. Um, by default, it's 9 p.m. to 7 a.m. They won't be able to use their device within these hours, right? But um, you could click save um, to save those settings. All 
right and moving on we could go down to app installs so here we have if we click on view all install apps here we can see a listing of all the apps that's currently installed on your child's phone so as you remember i blocked youtube for my son's phone so you've seen it shown as block if i click here i can actually unblock it from here or i could set a limit for it so if there's something you know i am going to unblock that frame because i know he won't be too happy <laughs> if i leave that block right but right here you have the option where you could actually block you know the apps or if you want to set a particular limit for them you could do so from here as well so i'm gonna go back so this device because it's um you know it's a fresh install there's not much activity on nathan's device because we just set it up however let me head over to Jaden's device my other son device and here you can see there would be a lot more activity so here you can see already has used his device for our 144 minutes today um you know um you get an idea if you click more what kind of apps he's using you know if there's something you're seeing that you don't want them to use you can also block it directly from there another cool feature i forgot to show you is that you could remotely lock your child's device so if they're misbehaving or you know not wanting to give up that device you could actually remotely lock their device as well so that brings me to the end of this demo but feel free to play around with the various settings and tweak them according to your needs well guys that brings us to the end of this video remember if you like the content i'm creating be sure to subscribe to my youtube channel and also click on the notification bell to be notified once a new video is released thanks again for viewing see you soon